News for Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. And breaking new information within the past hour about this city bus driver who ran over and killed a woman, a local mother. Moments ago, we learned this is not the first person that he's hit. Over the past 60 minutes, we've been looking through the newly released personnel file for the bus driver, Gene Silney. It shows 50-year-old Jeannie Rosar is the second person he's hit in his 12-year career, and there are other violations on his file. Kelly Wiley is the newest member of the News for Jack's I team. She spent today uh, going through what led to this driver's firing. Kelly? Yeah, there are several, and less than a year ago, JTA says Silney nearly ran over a supervisor who confronted him about ending his shift early. He was fired in December, and then JTA hired him back in January. Personnel records show his history of safety violations goes back as far as 2008, when he was written up for not wearing a seatbelt, being rude to a passenger in 2011, and in 2012, a rider fell while boarding the bus, injuring himself. In 2013, Silney's bus hit a bicyclist at a crosswalk. And in 2016, Silney was reprimanded for arguing with the passenger. The most recent incident killed Jeannie Rosar as she was getting off the bus. Her arm got stuck in the door and ended up entangled in the bus tire on Saturday. She leaves behind a 12-year-old daughter. Silney hired an attorney who told News for Jax his client has worked for JTA for 12 years without incident. But as you can see, the personnel file is painting a different picture. He does say he sends his condolences to the Rosar family and is cooperating with the investigation. Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.